in a in a previous video I went over what it means to have um, a variable with exponents so again x to the third power is the same as x times x times x but in some cases you're going to need to multiply these figures and I mean it's easy to write it out all the way but um, there are some pretty simple rules you can follow to shorten the time it takes you to solve problems so let's say we have uh, x to the fourth times x to the third and if you wrote this all the way out you have the four x's here on this side times another three and that comes out to the well there's seven there it'd be x to the seventh so when multiplying you can just add the exponents only if they're the same base also so if this was an x and a y you couldn't you couldn't simplify it any any better um, so this again is the same x to the seventh now there are some other cases of multiplication when it comes to uh, variables and exponents and they're kinda confusing sometimes but um, I'll, I'll try to explain it the best I can for you so if you have uh, x to the second say it's in uh, parentheses right here and then you have an exponent on the outside uh, you don't add them like you would here these you'd add together and that would equal x to the fifth this here this is the same this this could be written out the long way like this so you have x to the second the figure of x to the second three times one two three so it actually this actually equals x to the sixth and you can see that the figures are they it looks similar but the answers are, are very different so in this case if you have the exponent on the outside of parentheses you can just multiply them together so you get x to the sixth if they if the problem looks like this you can just add them together uh, just to make sure that you have a uh, a good handle on on this I just wanted to go over a couple more examples here so let's say we have y to the sixth times y to the fifth uh, what do you think that would e equal so again we're just going in this case we're going to add them together because this is six of the y's times I'm sorry this is y six times and then this is y five times so we're just adding them together and that comes out to y to the eleventh note that this one this problem here down here has parentheses so this is a to the fifth two times which equals and I'm gonna write it out the long way again a to the fifth times a to the fifth and now that you know how to do this from these previous problems you can add these together and this equals a to the tenth in the same way that five times two equals ten okay so as you can see the problems get a little bit more complex but using the same rules I, if you use the same rules you can you can figure them out pretty easily and if you break this problem down here this is we got x to the second over y to the third so we're, we're into fractions now all that in parentheses to the second power so you have two of these here two of the x to the second over y to the third you just have one times the other so we let's rewrite this so we have x to the second over y to the third 
times, remember doing this two times, x to the second over y to the third. By now you should probably know how to multiply fractions. You just multiply through and using the rules of exponents, x to the second times, I'm going to write a little arrow here, x to the second times x to the second equals x to the fourth. You have one, two, three, four x's total over y to the third times y to the third. So how many y's is that? That is the six of them using the same rules. So we have y to the six. And that's, that's the answer there. The, uh, the last topic I'd want to briefly go over would be multiplying using negative exponents. Nobody likes negative exponents, but they're they're a lot easier than than most people than most people think. Really quick, quick refresher over here. X to the negative two is the same as one over x squared. Yeah, all it that's all it is. So x to the negative two over one, you just flip it. But anyways. Let's say we have a problem here. It's x squared to the negative 2 power. Very simple. Just multiply these together. So we've got x to the negative 4. And you might not even be able, you might not even be uh, getting into this in, uh, in basic algebra. But um, if you are, that's a pretty brief and simple explanation. This can simplify if you want x to the fourth, uh, 1 over x to the fourth. I'm going to go over one more negative exponent example just to uh, make sure that um, the idea is clear. So let's say we have x to the negative 3, x to the negative third power, uh, to the negative fourth. And it's, uh, it's pretty simple. You just multiply these together. I'm not going to do it out the long way. But if you just use regular multiplication rules, this comes out to be x to the 12th, positive 12, mind you. Anyways, I hope that uh, this video helped you out a little bit. Uh, simplifying, I mean, uh, multiplying variables with exponents. And um, I'll be covering other topics with uh, variables with exponents, such as division and uh, little tricks here and there in other videos. So check those out.